Hello and welcome to phase three. Uh, so here we're going to be tackling Domination. And Domination is the least played of the three game modes, but it's no less fun in my opinion. But uh, first, as before, let's, uh, let's find out what we're getting into. So you can see now we have the force fields that we, we saw in Elimination, and we've got these bases here, but things are a bit different than they were in Collection. Uh, you can also see six bots and the hexagons mean they respawn. So let's see how it works. So the, the enemy's moving to the bases. And you can see he's, they're bringing a lot of bots to the one base and only one bot to the other. When they get to the base, they capture it. And the more bots that are on the base, the higher the, the multiplier. When the base is captured, it, the scoring percentage fills up and then they get a point. And much like how capturing goes faster with more bots, scoring also goes faster. So those are all important things to know, but I think we've got enough to get started. So let's uh, rewind the match and go back here. So much like collection, we're going to start off with our core combat routes, which is going to be our retreat. from not out of range and attacking me so we've got our retreat set up and then we've got our attack here um, what am I doing yeah this one sorry my dog is uh being a bit distracting, it being adorable. And now he's licking my hand. So if you see the mouse move in weird jumps, I, uh, I blame him. All right, so we'll start with that for our attack and then for movement over here. Um, we're going to create our just do something node, much like we had in collection. Uh, but for movement, as you saw, what we really want to focus on is uh, capturing bases. And so we're going to do something a little bit more complex than usual. We're going to move, but normally we would use ally base or neutral base or whatever. If we use question mark base, that opens up a new thing here for a team tag. So well, let's let's move to the closest neutral or enemy base, and what that'll do is it'll move all of our bots toward a base that we don't control, and continue moving toward bases that we don't control. So uh, let's 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 see how we get on with that part that part so far. And right off the bat, you can see our bots are kind of doing the same thing that their bots are doing. But uh, they don't have any shotguns, so in general, we are faster than they are. And now we can already see some things that are a little undesirable. Like, um, let me rewind it here. If you watch our bots up at the top here, you can see they're still trying to move, even though they're on a base. So, uh, that's a thing we might want to address. And now there's a bit of a scuffle going on over here. Uh, the points are about tied, but as we saw in previous uh, in, in previous game modes, our bots push a little bit harder than most. And but the enemy was trying to capture it; they, they didn't quite get it though. And as you can see, when no no bots are on the base, it starts to neutralize the base. And so the the enemy is trying to take this base, but they're having a hard time against our bots because our bots are pushing harder. So now we're capturing the base. And that gives us a pretty big advantage. You can see now we're scoring considerably faster than they are. And their bots are trying to move to this back one, which could be an issue, but our bots are trying to intercept and, and fight. Now, what's interesting is their snipers are running away immediately when focused. That's not a behavior I'm overly familiar with. I think this bot is relative, or this uh, 
the designer of the bot for this campaign stage is uh, relatively rare in in that behavioral choice. But you can see one thing we've definitely got that's not ideal is our bots are sitting right next to a base but not on it. That's going to cost us quite a few points, but it uh, it seems to be recovering pretty well. Our, our bots are going to push the sniper off this base real fast. Uh, so another thing to consider here is that in Domination, all matches will always go five minutes. So if I see changes that I think need to be made, uh, I will probably interrupt the match early as opposed to waiting. But you can see our bots are spending a lot of time fighting off of the base when they could be fighting on the base. So there's a few different ways that we can solve that. And I've got a pretty good idea for one of them right off the top of my head, but uh, we can go ahead and take a look at that shortly. However, it does look like we are going to beat this stage. At the very least, we're doing pretty well. But see, our bot is just slightly off this base. If our bot was actually on this base, it, they wouldn't be scoring. And in case it's a little too subtle, the the, the score or the uh, contesting range of a base is the same range as a short range, which that's going to probably come in handy shortly. And we're starting to capture this top one, so that's good. And see, there there are a few less than optimal things happening with our bots. But if we win this stage, we can address those on the next one. We did get a 3 cap, which is always a nice thing to, to get. And now they're taking apart the enemy pretty effectively. Uh, because of our experience with elimination, we, we know how to effectively select targets to kill. And even though it's only one node, it makes a very big difference. But there you can see uh, another problem. Let me rewind it. So if we watch here, we'll see all of our bots are trying to move into this cluster. But most of them weren't shooting back. The enemy was shooting at them, but they weren't putting any effort into retaliating. That has the potential to be a big problem, but because we got the three cap, uh, our bots push a lot harder than most other bots, which is the same thing we saw in collection. Um, because our bots push so much harder than than everyone else, at least that we've seen in the campaign, uh, we we have some um, some advantages when it comes to attacking territory and acquiring things from them. But it does look, yeah, we're, we're so far ahead. We really can't lose this one. So uh, there we go. Level one beaten. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.